Hey Scrappers, Moose here. So, this video is going to be the first in a short series of processing um, IC chips for gold. Um, I want to thank uh, uh, Francois Hamel, out in Quebec, who uh, sent this box over. Apparently this guy is doing really well. He's got his own uh, kind of recovery and refining business going. And he seems to be uh, making a living at it, so awesome job. You know, it takes a lot to do that, and you know, you had the, you know, the patience to do it and you're succeeding so awesome all right so what um what he sent me was a box with about uh, th three ki kilograms of ic chips uh, not all of them can be processed the same way so i started off by separating out the eproms which are all the um like ceramic chips so i pulled those aside and there was also, you know, a little bit of other junk in there that you need to pull out before you try and process, like all these little, like plastic housings, the things that the, the chips sink in. Uh, not all things that look like this are an IC chip. Sometimes if you flip them around, you see those little copper coils in them. So that's not an IC chip. And these things are crystal oscillators, which are processed differently as well. So that being said, I've got. This bucket, all right, it's all full of IC chips, and I added some of my own to make it go back up to three kilograms. So the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to fill this up with uh, some old AP solution that I have. And for those who haven't been, you know, watching the whole gold recovery thing for a while, I haven't seen my other videos. Uh, it's acid peroxide. It's basically a mix of um, hydrochloric acid, also called muriatic acid. Um, 31.45%, it can be lower than that, that's fine. Um, and I use air bubbles, some people use hydrogen peroxide, the, the liquid stuff you buy at the pharmacy. Uh, it's usually hydrogen peroxide 3%. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna add some spent AP into this to eat up all those little metal legs, all right? So within a few days, that should all be cleaned off and it just makes the process at the end easier. So I'm gonna let the AP eat the legs off. I'm gonna rinse them off really good, let them dry. Uh, it's been friggin' hot as hell around here lately. So it's not gonna take that long for them to dry out in the sun. Um, so another, a couple of quick notes with the IC chips. Um, this is not a how-to video. This is just what I do. Um, Geo has a lot better videos. Uh, you can find, if you go to my page, my YouTube page, you can see a link to his channel. And um, he's got a much more thorough uh, set of videos on recovering gold from these. And he can also recover silver and platinum, which I don't know how to do yet. Uh, all I know is that everything regarding silver and platinum requires nitric acid, which I don't use yet, but I'm going to start using it soon enough. Uh, especially now that I have all these EPROMs to go through. Plus my own collection of ceramic CPUs that I need to process. Uh, so that's about it. So I'm going to add some spent AP to this. So I keep a few jars of you know, old AP. So it always comes in handy. This stuff was actually from before the move. So I'm actually going to get rid of these jars. I've got better containers now. putting enough to cover the chips. That's it. All right, and that's it for the first video. So the, the next video in the series is gonna be um, basically the incineration process. Uh, I've got a, um, a special uh, steel box that I had a friend of mine make. Um, and I've got a propane torch that we're gonna, it's one of those large like weed burning, they call them turkey burners around here. Um, so I'm gonna use that to incinerate the chips. And we'll go from there. Now there are other methods. Um, eventually I'd like to try and find like an old meat grinder, an old sausage grinder or something. Because I've seen some people use that. It works fairly well. I tried I tried using a rock tumbler. Didn't work. Sorry. 
Um, if you've had luck with it, great, share your secret. Um, I had a rock tumbler with a bunch of really thin um, IC chips from uh, Ram Sticks. Uh, I had them in there for two weeks with some stainless steel ball bearings. Nothing much happened. A little bit of dust on the outside. I mean, a slight, slight wear. But after two weeks, I mean, that's nowhere near enough to be considered successful. Uh, so, all right, I'll stop rambling. Make sure you watch the next video. And thank you again, Francois. See you later. I can't tell you how many times I've shot and reshot this video and you know, gone through the process and didn't like the way the video turned out. So this is um, uh, Francois uh, Hamel from uh, Quebec. He sent me some um, IC chips to process. Uh, in the first part of the video, I, I kind of went over you know, separating them out. And then um, what I did, and this isn't... Please keep in mind that this is not an instructional video. This is just showing how I'm doing this. I'm not trying to say this is how you should do it, and I don't want you to turn around and start doing this on your own, especially if you haven't done any research. I mean, a video is never a substitute for you know doing actual research. Um, so that being said, what I did was I took all of the um, IC chips that he had given me and I put them in a bucket of AP with, with an air bubbler. Uh, this is a bucket that I have all of my, um, it's basically a stock pot. Uh, it's a five gallon pail. Let's see if I can zoom in on it here. It's a five gallon pail that has you know, a couple gallons of HCL in it. Um, and I just throw IC chips in it, keep the air bubbler going. And what that does is it eats off a whole bunch of the base metal, uh, the copper and the, uh, the legs on the IC chips. So what that does is it makes the recovery process of the gold uh, bonding wires much easier later on. So at this point, what I'm going to do is I've got a somewhat clean bucket uh, that I'm going to decant all of this AP in so I can rinse off the IC chips. Number one, you want to do this on the ground. Number two, you want to wear eye protection. Like I said, don't do what I do. I'm a freaking idiot. All right. So that being said, I'm gonna move that down here. Go up here because my back's been bothering me. Um, so I'm gonna finish decanting that. Now, as I'm pouring this, I'm noticing that. Uh, you know, the top of the solution is a nice emerald green, which is good. The bottom is starting to turn brown. That's fine. That's just base metals that have been dissolved. Um, so that, that, that's not a problem. All right, so I've got my stock pot here. It's just been transferred. So I've got a lid that I put on it. A lid, so keep it kind of protected. Alright, so now, what I'm left with is this bucket of IC chips, and a better light so you can see it, um, but all the legs are gone. They've been totally digested off, which is extremely helpful in the next steps. Alright, so as you can see there, see that there, there's, no there's no legs on anything left. They've all been completely pulled off. All right, that's what I'm looking for. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to rinse these a few times in water um, just to get all the acids off of them. And uh, then I'm going to let them dry. And then they're ready for the incineration process. That's the way that I do it. So a lot of people do it different ways. Some people grind it up. Some people, I mean, there's, there's other ways to do this. This is how I am doing it this, in this experiment, right? All right, so one of the things that I always keep on hand jugs of clean water. And why is that? Because if you get acid on you, don't try and throw a base on it. Don't try and pour baking soda on it. Flush it with water. So what the water will do is it will dilute it quickly. And diluted acid is less harmful acid. 
Now that water is going to turn real ugly. It's going to get cloudy. It's going to look uh, well, kind of like gray chocolate milk. So I'm going to keep rinsing it until the water comes clean. So now the next step after this is cleaned off, I've got a, uh, a screen here. So I take all the IC chips after they've been rinsed, spread them out on the screen, leave them outside in the sun, let them dry off for a couple of days, and then we're off to the next phase for me, which is incineration. Now keep in mind that um, <clears throat> in this video series, I'm just going to be showing you how to recover the gold bonding wires. IC chips can also contain silver, palladium, platinum. There's other metals in there that are worth recovering, but I don't know how to do it. And the rest of them require nitric acid, which I never use. I haven't used it yet, and I may use it sometime in the future, but not now because I'm not comfortable enough with it. So that's it for this step. I'll make sure you keep watching, and um, I'm going to be laid up for a couple of weeks. I have to have some hardware removed out of my ankle from when I broke my leg um, January 2015. So it'll be like two or three weeks where I won't be doing much around the garage. Sorry about that. Uh, but uh, I'll definitely be doing stuff on eBay because I've got all these high-end tuners that I need to sell and there's a whole bunch more behind you so of course I sell them at a commission um, which is good for me so and that's more money than scrapping keep that in mind more money than precious metal recovery too unless you're like uh, Francois HP who Apparently he's doing pretty good making a living doing it. So I guess that's it. Thanks for watching. See ya. Alright, so this is what they look like all laid out. Um, I leave them out like this to dry. The, uh, the more you spread them out the better. Now sometimes as you're looking over them you might see you know, a gold foil here and there. That's normal. A um, little bit of gold there. And then you can see. Where is it? Right there, a little gold foil right there. There's a lot of times you have these little those little green chips like that that have a little gold um, plating on the corner that'll come off in that AP bath. It's not typically a whole lot, but you know, it all adds up. So there we go. So this is gonna dry and um, then get burnt. <laughs>